I like to live in this country. Actually, I love lots of things about Hungary. For example, Lake Balaton, or the small mountains in the north, or Budapest, or cranberries and raspberries, and all kinds of small red uh, fruits. I think I am quite passionate about Hungary. And I think that you really do share my passion as you chose to live here. My other passion is creating value. And it might seem a bit contradictory, but that's why I chose to be a business consultant. And I like to contribute to the success of companies. And here we arrive to, to contribution. And Wikipedia defines contribution as something given or offered that adds to a larger whole. A larger whole. We might perceive contribution as something big, something unsurmountable that towers over us. Like, uh, <coughs> we do appreciate science, like the, the contribution of Count István Széchenyi, who founded the <coughs> Hungarian Academy of Science and connected past and Buddha with the chain bridge. <coughs> But there are other types of contributions as well. Smaller contributions. For example, the pyramids were built by thousands of enthusiastic peasants. And Wikipedia is edited by hundreds of thousands of people. And their contribution is much smaller on their individual scale. The real challenge with contribution is that people don't like to initiate. They like to follow, but they don't like to lead. So, can we create an environment to make contributions possible? I've been thinking a lot about this issue, how to make uh, contributions more frequent, and I'm not talking about paying more tax. I'm not talking about donations either. The things I'm talking about is resourcefulness and creativity, because money is a resource, but these are the ultimate resources. So, I am working on a concept to create a facilitating environment that channels creative ideas, uh, social entrepreneurship, and constructive dialogues. And the project code name is Itakarokeoni. Uh, or I want to live here and this would be a social networking and contribution site based on geographic localization because people think in geographic localization the world turns around where we are at the moment and our interests and willingness to contribute is co uh, connected very deeply to pa places dear to us. For example, Cotton Club could be the first small community and then a larger community of the district and then the even larger community of Budapest where everyone can, everyone can contribute to any issue they choose. But this geographic structure isn't the only way of uh, doing contributions. I would like this site to be highly adaptive to any use the users would like to use it for. But there are two cornerstones I'd like to share with you. One is constructiveness. Every, everything is allowed, but only in constructive way. Critics in constructive ways, constructive arguments, constructive discussions. The other cornerstone is open source. Open source in many ways, but mainly in a way that it's publicly edited and publicly maintained like Wikipedia is. The main purpose is to connect uh, communities, create communities, encourage social contribution and make contribution possible in some ways. So, I like to push this flywheel, but the more we push it, the sooner it gets the momentum. So, I'd like to ask you to contact me if you have any ways to make this idea better. What would be your contribution?
Thank you.